We're going to head out to Willis one more time. I'm going to head on out to Willis one more time. Snow's going hardcore. We're expecting four to seven inches of snow today. But we wanted to get out and check, check stuff out and see how people are doing with their driving. And surprisingly, it's just been a whole lot of cooperation so far. But I think it's going to get nasty. I think, I think it's starting to get pretty nasty. Let's just see how far we get. Taking a drive with the Jimmer. Welcome to today's drive. I especially want to welcome... Uh, Mark Maynard, Ann Erlewine, uh, and to all of you, it's just it's good to have you along for a ride. All right, so here we go. Luckily, this is interesting, there was no snow drift in the middle here, so I made a seamless transition to the left lane to avoid these vehicles. I see a lot of vehicles uh, getting on. This Nissan, yep. He's gonna hit his brakes. I figured he or she, I figured she was either gonna come on over to my lane or slow down. I think she made the right choice, selfishly. Uh, I'm glad to have her behind me. Glad to have anybody following behind me in their vehicle. Uh, it's posed in front of me, blocking my way, blocking my my uh, progress. Today's, you know, gonna be mostly a driver's lesson for a lot of you who are really bad drivers. I'm uh, probably not as good as I think, but a lot of you are really bad, so uh, this ought to help out. Um, obviously, keep a nice, big, long distance between you and the vehicle in front of you on a severely snowy day. It can bear down on you quick. Uh, stay off your phone. You should always stay off your phone, but uh, like mine's on the floor. That's how off my phone I am right now. Although I do have Siri, so I could always attempt to have. Glad she didn't hear me. <laughs> uh, otherwise, that would be, we'd be having an exchange, me trying to get Siri to like not listen to me. All right, so person bearing down behind me, like a little close. Like this person is a bad driver behind me. That's probably a like a 20 out of 100. Actually, just mindlessly, naively tailgating me for no reason in a snowstorm. Like, I don't think they're being... I think they're just that bad that they don't realize they're, like, right on my ass. That's the kind of person who uh, is lucky to be with us. Don't be that person. DBTP. Don't be that person. There's no way that that uh, Chrysler minivan behind me is four-wheel drive either. Like, they're, but they're driving like they're here. They go. They're like, "Fuck you, man! I want a good car." And then they're driving. Best of luck. Best of luck. Accidentally tailgating people. Got my blood up. All right. So, here we go. I'm, I'm going probably faster than I should be. Uh, just let up on the gas. You don't hit the brakes. Most of you know that. Even the worst of you probably know that, but do it. Uh, merge number one here. This car's braking in front of me. Now I'm braking. To me, that's like... We're all braking in the snowstorm. Be careful. Massive pileups in Michigan this time of year, especially early in the season when everybody's un unsure of their talents. And let me remind you, you are nowhere near as good as you think. I mean, I'm barely hanging on, and I'm, at least I'm aware of it. Let me say that one more time. You're a bad driver. I want you to be more careful. Why? Because I love you, and I want you to be on the planet. Yeah, you. That said, I'm going to get zipping along here into the left lane. Probably a mistake, but I 
can't help myself. See? I mean, I think I'm pretty good. And look how bad I am. It's 11.27. I need to pick my kids up in two hours. I want you with me every minute of the next two hours. I know. You guys relax. I'm going to cross the snowy median. This is like cross... For those of you who are uh, water skiers, it's like crossing the wake. So crossing that snowy middle area that is slippery, it's it's bumpy, that's the wake. It's that easy. You know what happens when you cross the wake at water skis. Next thing you know, you're flopping around like a rag doll, on a, like a very light paper rag doll, paper doll in a windstorm. Picture that. Close your eyes. Picture a paper doll in a windstorm. You don't want to be that paper doll. Slam. There, the paper doll just hit like a fence. Wire fence. I was giving a lot of space between me and the car in front of me. And then somebody pulled in front of me, so guess what? It's very simple. Back it off. Give them a lot of space now. Do it until you're going backwards. You won't actually ever go backwards. All right, Willis Road, one mile. I'm just feeling a lot of love today. I feel semi-terrified and anxious as well. More so. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to start decelerating. There's nobody behind me for like many, 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 many car lengths. There was a semi, but luckily they backed off and went to the left lane. Uh, there's a car in front of me getting off. They're hitting their brakes. I'm, gonna, I'm not hitting my brakes, people. I'm going to see if this thing will just, with friction, will just slow down. If you're in a stick, you could decelerate, but even that could be a jolt and kind of lose See, all I did was take my foot off. I haven't touched the brake set at all. Nobody behind me. I may just coast on up there. Hey, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to touch the brakes. Let's do a little test. Whoa! See, I told you it was going to get crazy. Okay. Here I go. Here I go. Oh, cars on both sides. Cars on both sides. The car behind me is way behind me, but I guarantee they're like cursing me. And guess who's wrong? Me, because they're turning right. They don't care about me. Lesson two for today. Nobody cares about you, except me. I mean, everybody cares about you in real life and stuff, but on the road, they're not thinking about you unless they're me and they're just thinking you're trying to kill me and how to stay away from you safely. But I'm having a hard time saying what I'm trying to say. But what I am trying to say is you know who cares about you because you can see them and talk to them. And if you think these other people are thinking about you, they're not. That car was not thinking about me. I was thinking about me. So lesson one is you're a shit-ass driver really bad. So am I. Start from that baseline. We're always learning. Lesson two, these people don't even know we're out here. We have to assume they, they can't even see us. We're stealth. Why? Not because we're ultra cool superheroes. We're stealth because people are so lost in their own thoughts that they can't see us, and being stealth kind of sucks in this case. So here we are. We're going to take a drive in the country. I'm just going to shut up for a second. Enjoy it. That truck had a Vietnam copter license plate in the front. Very cool. A lot of, I'm sure there's a story there. 
story we're not going to hear possibly ever. Because I don't know that guy. There might be somebody else with one who has a different story, but we're not going to hear his story. Truck. All right, here are some cars. Two cars. That's This one's even like kind of a European cop car or something. Or it's a Kia. Same thing. I think they took all the European cop cars from the 70s, slapped Kia insignias on it, and sold them for $22,000 each. Here's an American flag. They've got it almost touching cars <laughs> as they drive by. It's like in the road. So, I love America. I hope they just love America and that they don't. Love America! Asshole! What can you all tell me about the wide body, the wide butt Dodge Ram truck? What is going on there? Oh, it's because it's got double rear tires for towing. They do have a towing ball. Well, I forgot the name of it. A tow jack. A tow. A trailer hitch. They super have trailer hitch. My first car was white. Yeah, I totally remember, man. I missed that car. I don't really miss it. It was a Volkswagen. No, my second car. My first car was a black Nissan Sentra. My first first car was like a 1976 Honda Civic. Like a brown one, about as big as my hand, and I'm not even exaggerating. Barely exaggerating. Look it up. They're like you can drive them around. You just like go up the stairs in your house and then drive through the hall and into the bathroom. Easily. I like this over here on the left again. We may have seen it before. This is Noah's Ark Pet Hospital. And they have an ark that pets can run around inside of. Misty, your dog Jesus may want to go in. <laughs> Sorry. She didn't, she didn't name her dog Jesus. Uh... But your dog, Apollo, or whatever you guys come up with, might want to run around in that arc. All right, here we are. We're downtown Willis. The show's almost over, mercifully. We are going to pull into Willis Sound. I always like to go through the Willis Sound Airbnb driveway. I almost hit a vehicle there. I almost hit a car. Oh. Here's, here's Joe sleep. Hi Joe. How are you? Good. I got uh, you're on film. Okay. Just talking by myself. Okay. That does not seem safe. I know you have like no time. But no. <laughs> it's very unsafe. Especially in a snowstorm. That was Joe sleep everybody. Hey! It's good to talk to Joe. Feels good. Thanks for joining me. Hope you learned a lot. Taking a drive with the Jimmer. Jimmer.